Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload Flatpak apps into elementary OS using the preferred method as prescribed by elementary. Uh, as an example, I'm going to load up the App Center and I'm going to search for some common packages and you will see that they don't exist in the main App Center. If I click into a few of the categories, you can see the applications that are available via the App Center and there aren't actually that many of them. To install other applications, what you need to do is open a web browser and go to flathub.org. You can now use the search bar within FlatHub to search for applications that you want to install, such as LibreOffice. And then all you have to do is click on the install. Click on the downloads folder at the top of the web browser that comes with elementary and then click on the downloaded item. A message will appear um, with the title install untrusted app and it says this app is provided solely by its developer has not been reviewed for security, privacy or system integration, i.e. you're loading in an app that hasn't been curated by elementary. Some information about the application will appear such as the download size. Um, you need to put a check in the I understand checkbox and then click install anyway. The application will now download and install to elementary. Uh, when the install is complete, you will receive a message saying that you can open the application from the applications menu. Uh, you can also um, see the application in the App Center um, to see information and to uninstall the application. Uh, you can also uh, move the actual flat pack reference to the trash if you so wish, and you can open the app by clicking open app, or you can just press close if you don't want to use the app at this moment in time. If you now open the App Center and search for the application installed, in this case LibreOffice, you will see that it appears as a non-curated app. You can find the application by clicking on Applications. And if you want to add it to the dock, you just right click on the icon and click the add to dock button. That is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and click the subscribe button to see more content from everyday Linux user. Thank you for watching.